Okay guys, welcome back. I'm here uh, specifically because I've received some questions about this NFT setup. Uh, it's really simple. This is inch and a half PVC. Uh, this is inch and a half Ys. Okay, PVC Ys. You get them at Lowe's for like $2.80 each. I'm sure you could find it cheaper online. Uh, again, you've used T's down there, but I used more Y type tubing. Uh, these are about six inches in between each. Uh, some people offset them so that you know this one this one would be here and then up and down up and down I just did it even all the way across and um, pretty simple all I do is take my inch and a half rock wool I throw uh, two three seeds of bok choy in there and it it germinates in in the tubing I don't do it outside and then transplant it you could but I just do it in there and then when two plants come out I take one out a little microgreen I just eat it and then I leave the other one there to grow. And eventually they start off here and they get to, uh, to there. And um, they run at full strength nutrients. I don't run them in water or anything. Everything is always full strength uh, with the tomato, uh, tomato blend, tomato formula, master blend. There we go. Master blend, tomato formula. And uh, pretty simple. It just drains down. There's nothing, there's no substrate or anything inside the physical tube. As these plants grow out, it fills up with roots and that just, you know, does its thing. Just drips from the top and uh, goes down to the bottom, collects back in the reservoir. Inside here, I have one pump, which is feeding this and it's feeding, you know, my other systems over there. But like I said, inch and a half tubing on some little structure I made here out of wood. Uh, you know, usually something slapdash because that's how I make everything. And uh, that's it. This is just one inch tubing here. Is it even one inch? No, this is half inch. This is half inch PVC tubing. Uh, yeah, it says it right there. And it goes up here, splits you know, down two ways, and it just free flows, just gravity drips onto everything. I've had big things in here. I've had kale that's grown out huge. I've, I've had um, basil in here. You could put all kinds of stuff in here. Uh, the basil I didn't grow from seed though. I just made clones from that basil over there. But uh, this is where it's at. And uh, for those of you that want to make this, this is very, very compact and great for green stuff. Don't put anything in here that should have fruit. So don't put any peppers, right? Don't put any peppers or tomatoes or anything like that because those have very extravagant uh, root systems and it'll, it'll just clog up the tube. And then you have a disaster because it'll just start spewing out the top and all your plants will die and all that. But uh, just the main thing is to make sure you have a strong enough pump to bring water up or whatever the nutrient solution. And that's it. You know, you can throw some uh, expanded clay on top if you want to make it look pretty and sealed off. But I would wait till they fully germinate. See, those are little baby bok choys there. And, um, See, it's still got part of the seed on it. But that's about it. And then when you want to harvest this, you just clip off the lowest ones. And you can use it in a salad or stir fry it. I stir fry it with uh, olive oil and garlic. And I like taking some of the scallions and throwing it in there. And you just stir fry it. And, you know, you ha this will turn into like a soft uh, s spinach type of, um, I don't know, green. And then this will stay crunchy. It's very tasty, very easy. It only takes, I don't know, five minutes to, to stir fry it or saute it, whatever you want to call it. But there you have it. So if you guys have any more questions, just check back. Um, I don't think I'll be doing any videos on how to build this. This is very straightforward. But uh, now you can see 1.5 inch rock wool, 1.5 inch tubing. Nothing goes around that you just slip it in there. And, and the friction alone of it being in there will hold it in place. And again, yeah, there's a little bit of algae and it does leak a little bit, right? We can see a leak right there. But in all, it's not even that serious. Just keep it simple.